Heavy coats out there, Bill. A few heavy coats. Yeah, yeah a few yeah. of them. Hey, wasn't yeah. it last night we saw Santa scuba diving on one of our stories? Yeah. yeah. Like, he's already he's doing busy, rounds. He's a busy dude. I don't know how he gets to the kiddos. Crazy. I really don't. But yeah, uh, so tonight, uh, not too bad. Tomorrow's going to be a good one. You will not need your coat in the afternoon right. at all. But then the weekend, a little bit of change. So here's what it looks like as we go through the next few hours. Overnight, we'll say 44 right here in Philly. Down the shore, a little bit warmer. Upper 40s, 48 degrees. Lehigh Valley at 37. Very few of you get down to the freezing mark or below. I mean, certainly not a widespread freeze. I mean, we got to 67 today, so we even though even if we drop the temperatures down another 20 or 30 degrees, we're still pretty north of that. So tomorrow, 48 degrees. I'm going to give it an A, and I'm giving it an A because we'll have the sunshine in the morning. We'll have some increasing clouds later in the day, but this time of year, when you're going into the upper 60s, 68 degrees. The record, that's the 3 o'clock, and that's what we're going to forecast, 68, 69. Could we get 70? We could. The record for tomorrow, by the way, 72. So we're going to be very close to that, much closer to that than the normal in the mid-50s. So straight to your future cast, brand new data for tonight. We are dry this evening. We're nice and clear tomorrow morning. You go out, you have lots of sunshine, just a few passing clouds. We will not have rain tomorrow morning. I don't think we see rain at all during the daytime hours. We get into tomorrow evening. I'll pause this here. If you're tracking this on your radar tomorrow, say 6 o'clock, you're going to your Friday night football games, maybe getting together with friends and family because the temperatures are in the upper 60s. You're like, hey, we want to eat some dinner outside, have our drinks outside. I think you're going to have a lot of time to do that, but we're going to be watching this weather system just off to our west. It is a cold front. It will be here tomorrow night and into early Saturday. And that coastal system, we were talking about two systems, that stays offshore. What it will do, though, is help the winds kick up. It will, on, on Saturday, a little bit tomorrow, too, but on Saturday, it will not bring us rain. Watch what happens by Saturday morning, though. The front just, just continues to fizzle out. A few light rain showers overnight, Friday night, and into Saturday morning. I think that's about it. And then on Saturday, the skies clear out, winds out of the north, but it will be a much cooler day, especially when you add the winds that are going to be gusting 25, if not 30 miles per hour. This is Saturday. This is not tomorrow. Tomorrow's gusting maybe up to 20. Saturday is the windier day, and the temperatures are cooler as well. Then we get into Sunday, 54 degrees, sunny and chilly. Next week, we're really watching this storm. There's a storm out over the Pacific that's going to slowly make its way this direction. Tuesday into the first part of Wednesday, and obviously big travel ahead of Thanksgiving. That could bring some rain, could bring some travel delays. We watch places like Chicago, the airport, and Atlanta, certainly locally. Uh, and there could be some delays. So we will be really focusing on this as we get past our day tomorrow, but our next weather makers tomorrow night and into Saturday. And obviously, being on air at the telethon, you can hear my voice. Pretty much <laughs> done for the day, guys. We'll send it back over. That's all right.